Now, the Congress Working Committee is going to pick a new Congress Party president. Rahul Gandhi had resigned immediately after the Lok Sabha election results. Rahul Gandhi has asked all the chief ministers, leaders and party office bearers to pick a new Congress president. The Congress Working Committee had rejected his resignation, but Rahul Gandhi remained firm on his decision to quit. According to sources, the frontrunners for the position of Congress President are General Secretary Mukul Vasnik and Karnataka stalwart Mallikarjun Karge. Vasnik is the senior most General Secretary acceptable to most of the factions. Karge, on the other hand, is a veteran leader from South India who lost the Lok Sabha elections this time. Another person in the fray is K.C. Venugopal who happens to be the General Secretary in charge of organization. He does not have many takers to accept the office of Rahul Gandhi. Last month, Rahul Gandhi had made it clear that no person from the Gandhi family would occupy the position of the President of the Congress Party. Sonia Gandhi would continue to be the leader of the Congress Parliamentary Party in the Lok Sabha or the lower house of the Indian Parliament. Priyanka, Priyanka Gandhi currently holds in charge of Eastern Uttar Pradesh as the General Secretary of the Party. After 1998, Anand Gandhi would get to become the president of the Congress party. Sonia Gandhi went on to become the president in 1998 in a coup which displaced Sitaram Kesari from the position of the party president. Sonia Gandhi was then challenged by Jitendra Prasad, but he lost to her in an election. If Mukul Vasnik is selected as the president, then he would still need the All India Congress Committee's ratification and anyone can still file for election despite Vasnik being selected. Till then, he would be called a provisional president. And now we have our political editor, Kartike Sharma, joining us live from outside the Congress Party headquarters in India's capital, New Delhi. Kartike, talk to us. Uh, uh, is the suspense over now or how long is it going to take? Uh you know, the suspense, Krishna, is not over for one simple reason, that uh, the discussion uh, have lasted longer than they should have. And uh, the working groups have not been able to uh, come on a single candidate. Now, the sources were saying that the most of the working groups were of the opinion that uh, Rahul Gandhi should continue. But the issue is that Mr. Gandhi has not come back for the working committee meeting because he wants to force that a non-Gandhi should be uh, the provisional Congress president. Now, we understand the issue that the working committee can uh, pass the name of a provisional candidate, but he has to be ratified by All India Congress Committee, which means that if there is a candidature without consensus, it can lead to election. Though Congress had elections five times in all its history of more than 100 years, uh, the best known uh, election has been between Jitendra Prasad and Sonia Gandhi, whereby Sonia was uh, selected as a person by Congress Working Committee. But uh, when it came to the All India Congress Committee, Jitain Prasad threw in the hat, though he got defeated. So now the issue is what is what needs to be done. One thing we know that we will have a name by end of the day because the chief of the communication department, Radeep Surjewala, has said it very, very categorically. Secondly, what we do not know right now is that what sort of names have been given by five zones apart from the one which we have just said that most of them believe that the Rahul Gandhi should continue. And lastly, and most important of all, yes, the names of Malikarjun Karge, Sushil Kumar Shinde, Mukul Vasnik, they have been in air. But the larger issue is that what sort of a mandate which the working community wants to give to that president. It ultimately depends on that, Krishna. Because when Sonia Gandhi became the president, it was like the Congress ran towards the Gandhi for its own rescue when Sitaram Kesri was the president because it was being uh, fragmented from various places. Now, Congress is in a very emaciated state in such that every day a member of parliament is resigning and going. So what they really need to do right now is to arrest the tide because two elections are around the corner. One is in Haryana and another is in Maharashtra. Elections around the corner and the Congress party needs to pick a president. Uh, Kartikeya, uh, one last question. Uh, you know, this is a speculation I'm asking from you. Uh, by when do you think uh, the Congress party will be willing uh, to announce uh, uh, the results of all the deliberations? Well, I would say tonight. Uh, this this is a certainty that the name is going to come out, you know. But then the larger issue is that the debate has uh, you know become longer, that meeting has become lengthier, uh, and Rahul Gandhi has not come for it, which means that you know probably he wants to stay away from it. Now, what sort of impact 
does Rahul Gandhi staying away from the process of selection of a Congress president will have is something we'll know, come to know only after the meeting is over. But nonetheless, this is unprecedented in the way because this working committee has involved a lot of chief ministers and regional setup, which was not the case when this happened when Sonia got elected as the Congress president. Krishna. Karthika Sharma, our political editor, joining us with the latest updates on who will be the new Congress Party president. Thank you, Karthika, for being with us here on this broadcast. Shifting focus.